Okay, so so far what we have done, we have created our indicator source, indicators, uh, our job, we saw the result in a score sheet, and we have the global result. Okay, the total sum of total debt, total recover, total uh, uh, confirmed cases, and we have the global, global result. Now, how we can have the result for all countries, okay, for any, all countries. So for that, what we have to do is to create a breakdown. And in our case, we are going to create a breakdown, a country breakdown. The most important part when you create a breakdown is the breakdown source. That's where that's where you get the uh, breakdown actually. Okay, when you create a breakdown, you don't put there is not too much parameters there. You just have the name. You give the name for your breakdown, and then you mainly focus on on your breakdown source, which table you are using, what is the condition, and so on. So we are going to use in our in our case here the breakdown source. It will be the core country table. So it will return us the list of all countries. But I will put some other conditions such as the total confirmed cases uh, will be more than zero. Should be more than zero. Okay. Uh, we can have a related list condition as well. Okay. We will see that. So in summary here, uh, the breakdown is the list of the countries. Okay, that we have here. and our result whatever the result that we have total confirmed total dead total uh, recovered we should break it down with the breakdown that we have here so the country so this is my score sheet okay this is like the score sheet um, let's say we are building the score sheet manually so we can understand uh, why we need a breakdown mapping that's the second thing right we need a breakdown mapping and why we need a breakdown mapping and we if we understand how the score sheet is built we can try to guess oh this this is the reason why we need a breakdown mapping here I have for example the country so all the countries and then I have an example total death here as a result right? it can be anything total recover total confirm so the country that we have here this is this is the breakdown which is like is taking from the breakdown source here from this part okay these are breakdown records that we have here and it is taking from here so we have naturally I would say the sys ID of the countries here okay but the score sheet when you are building if you have the sys ID of the countries how do we know which number we should put here we have total that how we we can make the relation here how we will we know that afghanistan will have the uh, result 10 or i don't know 100 or whatever the number okay so how we can get the number the way we get the number by creating a breakdown mapping okay we create a breakdown mapping we are saying hey this is the breakdown source i have the list of the countries so you can have the society of all countries so use the society in the indicator source so it go it goes to the indicator source and we have to say hey this society should be the value of one of the field that you have in the indicator source so in our indicator source we have our location field which will refer to that specific country so once we have once we have the society and we apply it uh, in the indicator source for the location field and we know for which result we should get do we need total total death, total confirmed, total recovered, and we can get any of them by knowing which indicator that we are using. So if you are using the indicator total death, it will go and get the result of total death. Okay. So we are taking the sys ID here and mapping it to the uh, field that we have in the indicator source. This is how we are building the score sheet. So if we have understood that we can use like we can create different breakdown mapping. Okay. So this is how I understand here how it works. So let's now create our uh, breakdown, breakdown source, do our breakdown mapping and see the result in a score sheet, in a real one.